So friends, uh, in the last video, I have shown how to install Jenkins using Chocolatey, and in this video, uh, I will be installing Chrome, Notepad++, and uh, Visual Studio Code. Uh, these these are uh, uh, like required uh, when you are when you are working for for uh, uh, when you are working uh, like. Uh, with related to DevOps, like uh, when you are doing coding for uh, Terraform or Marvin, uh, you need uh, Visual Studio Code as well as uh, Notepad plus Notepad plus plus. So I'm just installing this in this video. Let's do it. First, I will be installing Notepad++. Oops. Let me try one more time. To type. So now Notepad is getting installed. Okay, Notepad++ plus plus is installed now. Let's try to install uh, Yo. So it's around 44 MB so it will take hardly 2 to 3 minutes. So installing is started now. Okay, uh, Visual Studio Code is also installed. So we need to close the PowerShell, <coughs> PowerShell console and reopen as uh, environment variables got changed. So we can do it uh, once uh, I, I complete uh, Chrome installation. So So now I will be installing Chrome now. So whatever, like uh, uh, it's a simple, uh, uh, simple thing. If you go to Chocolatey website, uh, you will be getting all the commands required to install the things. Uh, so uh, if you want to install uh, uh, like uh, Jenkins or Visual Studio or Chrome, uh, we search in the Google uh, like install, uh, install Chrome using Chocolatey. You will get the command. Just copy it and paste it here and just initiate. Make sure uh, when you when you do that, you are installing the right and the required uh, version of uh, software. It's very much simple, and uh, you, you no need to like uh, go for next next finish options using Chocolatey. It's very simple, and even 
uh, like uh, you can you can automate these things and you can install on multiple servers uh, using puppet or chef uh, so it's very simple and uh, a little bit uh, like you need to work on configuring the things but uh, it's very much helpful and it uh, it it reduces the work of an system administrator so i recommend to use chocolatey okay we got a error let's see uh, what is this okay so guys uh, looking at the error like error i am able to see that uh, the checksum was got uh, like the checksum for uh, google chrome got failed so what i thought is uh, like <coughs> bypassing the bypassing or ignoring the checksums will make google chrome install successful so i added uh, hyphen hyphen ignore checksums uh, to the the install command so let's try using that okay Yes, it's all installed okay so guys <coughs> i have tried to install using the using the like uh, using ignore checksum and uh, it was successful so for you guys uh, for you guys i am trying i have installed and trying to install it but already it is installed so it's not allowing me, allowing me to install it so i need to reinstall uh, google chrome for that i have added a hyphen a slash a hyphen hyphen force uh, which will uh, ignore the uh, installation uh, command and it will go ahead and install the application for us so i have just initiated it so now it is getting installed like it's getting downloaded and it will install whenever if you uh, any installation gets failed uh, the error itself will sh shows and solution in that just read the error properly and it will have an uh, solution in that we need to add it and just run the run the command so it should definitely work now yes now google chrome is installed successfully i hope this video is informative for you guys